guys, it's Jen, and this is my friend Christine. You guys might remember her from her YouTube channel, Xteener. Hi. We've been friends for a super long yes. time, so every time we get together, oh, we just talk about all of this really TMI girl chat stuff. Girlfriend talk show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, we thought it would be fun to do a little video for you guys talking about a topic that we just started chatting about a lot and yeah. I found it really interesting so I was like why not do a video sharing with you guys our thoughts on body hair. <laughs> topic I'm very passionate about. We are very, so. very passionate. <laughs> Actually, we've also recorded a video on her channel. Yeah. It's all about periods. But you guys can follow the link down below you and go over to it. her <laughs> channel. Yeah, you don't want to miss it. Check it out. All that TMI <laughs> stuff. We have a few questions and we're going to answer them for you. And we're not going to hold anything back. So if you guys are a little queasy about body hair, feel free to click out of the video. But I'm not saying anything, <laughs> but... <laughs> <laughs> but if you want to see all of our dirty, hairy secrets, then keep on watching. All right, Christine, are you ready? <laughs> Let's do it. Are you ready for yeah. this? So, Christine, where does your body hair grow? So, <laughs> I, I'm seriously a really hairy person, so it grows just about everywhere that would be kind of normal for it to grow. Yeah, like your hair on your head. Lashes. Long lashes. <laughs> I, I really, I'm a hairy person, so I have hair everywhere. So, I'm, you know, I have hair here. I know some people grow their hair like right here too. They might have like a stray one or two. I don't have that, but I really have hair everywhere. Like all over my face, even on my neck. Oh. Yeah. I did a whole video about laser hair removal and I, did, I don't think I mentioned I'll link, that. I'll link that in the info box. Yeah, so but you guys can watch I'm that. like, I'm getting this part right here laser too. Oh, <laughs> That's wow. so weird, right? So like right here is still hairy, but like right here. It's just like aggressive baby hair. Hair. It's like yeah, thing, right? I mean it, it does still like poof out, but yeah, I have a lot of hair. Girl, it's not like man hair. hair. And don't feel bad about this guy. Mm -hmm. Seriously, there are women who do grow beards, and it, that's just the reality of it. Yeah. So I don't have hair we're all just as made coarse as that. Yeah. So. It's okay. It's okay if you got <laughs> mm -hmm. some hair. It's that's why we're talking reason. about this. Yeah. yeah. That's why we're doing this video. I'm not a particularly hairy person. I would say I have less hair than most people. You, she is so lucky. Like. If you look at her oh, legs, it's we're like gonna, spotless. We're gonna do a little like gymnastics, <laughs> little stretch here. Uh, that's the leg. <laughs> I I've actually never shaved my legs. That's just that's so unbelievable they just to don't, me. They're not hairy. Yeah, it's a little. They're weird. not. They're bare. <laughs> they're like completely bare. And like my arms, they'll have like tiny little baby hairs, but you don't really. Like, I probably couldn't pinch them. You could pinch my hair. <laughs> no, I can't pinch yeah. them too little. That's a pinch test. Yeah, <laughs> like, that's how you know you're hairy. <laughs> but otherwise, I guess it grows in the usual places, you know, like the girl bit region. Oh, Everybody, yeah. we women, we have that. It happens. And then I have, like, I have... I have a little bit of armpit hair. It's not like, not a lot, but it's it's definitely there and I have to like take care of it. We're like on the opposite ends of the spectrum. <laughs> I'm very hairy. She's got some sparse areas. Yeah, <laughs> but it's still, it still requires like regular Ma maintenance. maintenance. Well, if it's your choice. We're yeah. totally open-minded to that. Mm. It's just you know. for our personal choice. I like to maintain the underarms. Oh yeah. I don't want, I don't. You I don't want this don't happening. Wanna, like, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so in terms of removal methods, we're gonna go through the list. Ooh, so yeah. let's start with legs. So I usually do shave it, but I did try sugar waxing Ooh, what's on that? it before. It's literally like you make a paste out of sugar. So it's almost like caramel and you use that Ooh. to wax Whoa. yourself. Yeah. So know. I've tried that like a few times. It's uh -huh. tough to do, but it's worth it if you just don't want to keep shaving. Oh, you have to do that at day. home? Yeah. It's like probably better to get it professionally done. It's actually kind of tough to <laughs> to conquer. <laughs> to get in there. Yeah, it's actually tough to like get your wrist to do the flex and everything. <laughs> yeah, but... <laughs> Yeah, but I think that's really cool. I mean, a lot, I have a lot of friends who are all about sugar waxing. Like, they oh. get it professionally done. It's supposed to be less harsh on your skin. Mm -hmm. But yeah, for the most part, I do just shave because I have to shave almost like every day for my legs if I'm bearing my legs. We've already discussed that. I've never <laughs> shaved my legs. Yeah. Sometimes I feel a little self-conscious because like the tiny baby hairs, you can yeah. see them in the sunlight, but I don't want to go through the whole like stubble cycle. Oh, so, no, that, yeah. You know, cause it would be prickly. So I just, I don't do anything. I, I totally suggest not even touching it. Like just <laughs> let it, let your smooth legs be, you I know? 
What do you do for, for the these, these puppies? Arms. The underarms. So I'm, I'm currently getting that area lasered. Oh, so, fancy. Yeah. So I only have to shave it like once every week or two weeks now. It's pretty awesome. With laser, every time you go in, it treats your hair follicles, so it kills your hair follicles so that it doesn't, or doesn't Hi, Oreo. grow back. Hi, Oreo. Hey, Hi. There's some armpit <laughs> yeah. hair. Yeah. I'm very furry. <laughs> Oreo has some armpit hair as well. Oh, yeah. I think. It's all right for him though. Yeah, that's good on ya. I mean, I've epilated under there. I've never gotten it waxed, so for the most part, I just shave it. Yeah. What about you? I used to religiously epilate my underarms, which I feel like is a really great option it is so because painful. it stays away for a really long time. Yeah. Like yeah, you can go like a week or two in between, mm -hmm. depending on how much hair you have. It might not be a good option for people who are really sensitive and and find it really painful but yeah. I thought it was bearable. I it's bearable if you don't have so much hair but I think naturally the underarms is just one of the more sensitive areas. Yeah. So if you have a lot of hair under there like I did. It could be really painful. It was, yeah it's just a task every time but for me it was worth it just because like I prefer it to look cleaner. You know I actually used to take tweezers and do that like one by one and my that mom would like give that. me neck cramps and it would take <laughs> such a long time and it felt like it was more painful so the epilator. Oh because you're doing it one by you guys, one. If you don't know what an epilator is it's like a mechanical thing with like lots of tweezers on it which sounds like a torture device, but yeah. it's actually not bad. Yeah, it just spins on its own, so it's like always plucking, but it has kind of like guards, so you're not just ripping your skin or anything. Mm. It doesn't pinch your skin. Oh, when you get yeah. sweaty, it can pinch you. <laughs> so you gotta keep Baby it dry. Yeah. yeah, keep it dry. <laughs> but now I actually am using an at-home laser. I guess it's like not dissimilar from you, except yours is fancier. No. I, <laughs> so it's the same process. I have mm -hmm. to shave it, and then yeah. you do the laser like once every two weeks. Oh, you can do that often mm -hmm. with it? Oh, that's so different. So then over time, if it goes through all the hair cycles, you don't have to do as much. Hopefully, eventually, it will You'll be have gone. Like barely any hair at all yeah, to deal yeah, with. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's always <laughs> ideal. I feel like I need to look into that just for some other part. The hair here, I don't want to deal with getting that, like going to get that professionally lasered. I know, that would lasered, be a little weird. So, you know, <laughs> I can treat that myself. Yeah, treat yourself. Yeah. <laughs> what about the face? I yes. feel like you don't have much hair on your face at all. You know, everybody gets like that peach oh, fuzz yeah. around here. Sometimes I feel like makeup just like applies smoother and nicer Without it. when you don't have any peach fuzz. Yeah, that's why I used to shave my face all the time. <laughs> we talked about this. What do you mean when you say that? When I say shaving, people think I use like the razor that you use on your legs, but I'm talking about, you know, the eyebrow razor mm -hmm. with the little ridges in it? So I mm -hmm. use that and I just shave my face with that. Just like dry, right? Actually, I usually wet my face but I think, oh, okay. it, I think it might be better to do it dry. I always felt like mask kind of makes your face look wider too if you apply makeup onto it. Oh. You know because like if it clings to your hair it's almost like highlighting. Yeah because like powders right? it's just yeah. like hovering outside yeah. of your face. <laughs> Literally. Like I'm getting my face lasered as well so I just maintain it by shaving. This is what I will use for my face. Cause you know, I used to, again, just use like tweezers and then any like little tiny things I would see, I would just like pluck it. Oh. But again, it's kind of time consuming. Mm -hmm. So I discovered this thing. I think there was a popular brand called Spring It, but I think yeah, mine's just some you can generic get, one I got for yeah. super cheap on you the internet. Really and you just kind of like do this and put it against your face and like, kind of twist it and it, it, it hurts. hurts. It stings. <laughs> it stings. If you look really closely, it kind of grabs the little baby hairs. Yeah, I, I use that once upon a time too. <laughs> inside the little spring. It's not going to be like, if you have like mustachio problem, but it's more just everything looks nice and smooth and clean right. and nothing's really shadowy once you get rid of it. So I don't really do it regularly, oh. but I would say maybe once a month. What? Or like whenever really? I just randomly get the whim to. Oh. Cause you can just do this while you're like watching TV or you know, no, like five this. minutes by, by the mirror. Wow, just once a month? <laughs> I would get whiskery like if I didn't. Yeah, <laughs> this is how we, this is hair. <laughs> I would get whiskery if I didn't maintain it like at least once a week or once every two weeks. It, it grows like and long that's hair. that's okay. Yes, it is that's okay. That's okay. It is. Also that being said, again, like. 
like it's totally your choice we're not saying you have to but definitely know that there are different choices for removing it if you choose to and yeah. it's totally okay if you have hair there because mm -hmm. a lot of us do and we do mm -hmm. and that's okay yeah. it's okay <laughs> so let's talk about the nether regions nether regions so i personally just shave it i'm terrified like scared to death of getting that area waxed or anything oh my gosh i've never waxed there either i'm super scared. paranoid i would just be kind of nervous to like go and be like Hello! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Please remove this hair. <laughs> I think yeah, I think I'd be pretty shy about that. For me it would be ideal to get it lasered maybe one day if I can get past the awkwardness. You know what? I have had friends who had really good experiences. Yeah, with I've heard getting good things. So like if mm -hmm. I were to do laser, it would probably be Oh, that would be my armpits and then so do you have any hairy stories? <laughs> For like Very embarrassing stories. stories. It's almost like bullying in a sense, but yeah. I believe back, it was, I think it was in middle school, I was in Spanish class, and you know, I didn't shave my face back then. Like, I just had a ton of hair. I had hair that was pretty much like wispy right here, like right above my brows. And my brows are pretty much like these hairy blocks too. No, but you have amazing eyebrows, especially From for an Asian girl all I the time. Like it's like a mixed blessing. I guess so, yes, yeah. okay. So there's this one girl who's like, are your eyebrows on steroids? She was just completely mean about it. Boy, his eyebrows are definitely. Are they on steroids? <laughs> I don't know if you guys, he has eyebrows, look, they're like. He does. Little dots on his yeah. face. <laughs> I actually didn't even know what to make of that because it just kind of took me by shock with how blunt and rude it was. That is really rude. Yeah. I didn't shave back then, but I think that made me very aware of how hairy my face was. Yeah, I didn't really what even a do jerk. anything. Yeah, I didn't what even really do anything to my brows until high school. I think I told my mom's like, Mom, I really hate my brows. So she started helping me tweeze oh, them and shaping them because they, they look so nice. Well, this is after years of experimentation <laughs> and like shaping them, but seriously, they were like caterpillars, like wispy caterpillars on my face. You guys, you have to know that these eyebrow shapes, <laughs> these are not our natural no. eyebrow shapes. I had like sparse but kind of spread out eyebrow oh. that's like slightly pointy in the middle. Oh, really? Yeah, and then and then I would have a lot of stuff underneath here. I had very funky eyebrow shapes. <laughs> like, you, you just go through the phases of figuring it out, you yeah. know? I mean, if you want to see what my natural eyebrow shape is, I have a brow tutorial where I let my brows just like grow out completely so that yeah. I can do the process from but your brows ground zero. Good though. Like Thanks. they're pretty contained. They're not like all over the place. They're but... more contained now than they used to be. <laughs> you know, I just remembered something else. I have these areas oh, right too. here where only only baby hair grows here. Yeah. And I was always really self-conscious because I felt like I had a really bad receding hairline. Oh. But that's just naturally how my hair grows. That's how mine so is like, too. Like I have like, I don't like, like those two areas. triangles right here kind of. Uh -huh. I just felt really self-conscious about those but, areas. Yeah. Don't be mean people. <laughs> <laughs> I guess for my hairy story. <laughs> I want to say this was either really early junior high, like maybe shortly after I started the whole puberty kind of yeah. thing. I never thought about my upper lip, like yeah. ever. Yeah. And then one day there was this girl who was a couple years younger than me. And she came up to me and she was like, you have a mustache. And I was like, mm -hmm. I, I didn't know what to say. I was so shocked and so like hurt that I was like, no, I don't. You have a mustache, but she didn't. And she's like, no, I don't. And then I just, I ran away. And I remember for the next week, I just stared in the mirror every day and I was like, oh my gosh, I have a mustache. But it's so normal. I know, but, yeah. but nobody tells you these things when you're younger. That's I was true. so mortified when I was that age. Like nobody had ever talked to me about like, facial hair on women ever. Right. You just assume like nobody has it. Yeah. It's like until someone makes fun of you. And then you're I know. Like, and then you're like, oh, I'm about the it. worst. I am such a, such a man face. <laughs> 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 no, I felt really, really, really ashamed and really nervous about it, but I didn't know how to do anything. So I just didn't. 
and oh, then just kept letting it grow or be there. You know, maybe there was some peach fuzz there, but like not like a mustache. Like that was a really mean comment. It was yeah. kind of like a bullying thing. Like, yeah, definitely. It was not nice of her to say that. So if you guys are out there, be really sensitive to each other. Don't tell each other that you have mustaches. And if you ever did, go and apologize to that person that you said that. Because even if it may be true, even if it's true. Yeah, it's all like, in the it context. Hurts. Yeah. It hurts a lot. Maybe it could be in a helpful context and be like, hey, by the way, I found this really cool thing. <laughs> just And I use it for like my peach fuzz on my face and, and it just makes everything look smoother. And this is what it is. And it's super cheap and it works really well. That's all you have to say. Yeah, you don't have better. to make people feel self-conscious. If I would have known that it was okay, then I would have just fixed it and felt great about myself and it wouldn't have been a big deal versus like me just like being so sad and like crying in my room by myself oh, and no. wondering why I have a mustache. <laughs> Completely normal guys. Yeah. Like. Yeah. So anyway, I guess that's the end of the video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much, Christy, for giving your TMI information yeah. to the whole world. <laughs> if you guys want to see the video we did on Christine's channel, again, it Period. is all about periods. So I will leave a link on your face and also down below. So go over to her channel, check that out. Subscribe to Christine if you aren't Aww. already. She is so amazing Aww, and you. such a beautiful makeup artist as well. Oh, thanks. <laughs> so if you enjoyed the video or at least like could giggle along with us and feel <laughs> self-conscious along with us, please hit the thumbs up button. Leave a comment down below if you have a really embarrassing hair story yeah. because I promise I'm gonna I'm gonna read every single read comment too. I wanna read them for so sure. thumbs up subscribe to this channel if you want to see more videos and I guess I'll see you in the next one bye hair <laughs> <laughs> and today I'm going to be doing an eyebrow tutorial for you We're a little bit closer than normal because I wanted to do an updated foundation routine for you this is for a liquid foundation look